Thank you for your service. Thank you for your sacrifice. And thank you for your example. It's a moment to remember. Their duty was to serve. Ours is to remember. An attempt to forever honor those who protected the state. Officer Diego Marino, Kent Police Department. An officer killed in a police chase. Special Agent Timothy Ensley, Homeland Security Investigations. And a federal agent who got sick while training police in Indonesia. The latest addition to the more than 300 law enforcement officers memorialized at the state capitol. For the rule of law to be real, for justice to succeed, we need brave men and women made in the mold of the law enforcement officers on this wall. He opened his door and came out firing. Also honored during the ceremony, officers who acted heroically and survived to receive the Medal of Honor. Officer Richard Rich. Like Vancouver Police's Officer Richard Rich and Corporal James Bergara. He fired four shots at me with a 308 rifle, one missing my head by 10 inches, hit my light bar, and here I am. Along with Sergeant Eric Jennings, they chased down a man who had robbed a credit union, and when he opened fire, they fired back, killing him. We're just grateful to have him. Corporate Bergara brought his daughters for the honor he admits makes him uneasy. I'm uncomfortable. Even now, I have the feelings of, of uncomfortableness because there's several people on that wall that are much more deserving than I am. It is our modest way of repaying a debt that can never be fully repaid. These displays of support for families and friends of the fallen and the exceptional is an attempt at showing appreciation on this day and in the future. Thank you on behalf of the law enforcement family and thank you on behalf of the citizens they served. Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.